Mrs. Sanchez, how come you missed the meeting? Even though the email you sent out clearly said join at 3 and it's only 2.15. Apparently you made an update to the calendar that you assumed I would have seen but at the same time no one had notified me. Was the switching of times just a ruse to keep the Hispanic woman out of the white man's house, scared that when welcomed in, she would rearrange the furniture that hasn't moved in centuries? You called to tell me that I can't do anything but watch through a window where all my concerns about expanding the curriculum to more than just the American single story becomes a muffle behind the glass. Claiming that the American school system is fine where it's at, but Principal Jones, fine isn't good enough. Until standards are changed, we aren't going to see any improvement. And I understand that expecting every teacher to write their own curriculum is an unfair and unreasonable task. But it's going to change our society on a molecular level. Yet you continue to justify your neglect to the situation while I begin to question myself. You claim that our schools don't have the time or resources needed to teach basic human decency. Instead, you're more concerned about what the adults are willing to discuss. I believe kids need to be prepared for what they're about to be put into because racism is embedded into our society. Think about racism or any kind of ism like hate crimes as people walking really fast on the moving walkway toward white supremacy. Many people are just standing there doing what they think is best, but they're still moving because the walkway is moving. So if you're just hoping that you're doing good, you're not. To be anti-racist or anti-anything, you have to be actively walking the opposite way. A daily commitment where your actions constantly question and go against what is the norm. You see, the beauty of these protests today is that they give our youth agency. But we have to turn that agency into policy because policy is just paper if not enforced. And enforcing policies is what our schools lack. When faced with the decision between my occupation and my values, I remind myself of one simple phrase. The humane option is always the best option. So how are you prioritizing humanity? Are you providing your students with the correct tools when it comes down to society? Be the change in our society because everything begins with us.